I wouldn't guess that this would be an unsafe place to drop your mail off. I would figure this would be safer than at your house. A place typically used for safeguarding your personal deliveries, checks and birthday presents. Now a target for thieves. My in-laws mailed off some bills and they had their bills taken and somebody um, tampered with the checks and then tried to get money from them. This USPS customer wishes to remain anonymous. I think it's really sad that this is what is happening in our sweet community. Since July, Chesterfield police say the blue mailboxes outside this post office on Swiggly Ridge Road have been hit multiple times. There's no telling what valuables or personal information thieves took. That's unfortunate. Um, I guess people just know location. Maybe they're thinking it's nicer things. Maybe there's cash in the envelopes. As of this morning, Town and Country's post office became the latest target. This time, the suspects were caught, taken into custody, and an investigation with the U.S. Postal Inspectors is underway. For right now, trying to maintain the security of these blue collection boxes, we want the community to be able to utilize the postal service uh, without being victimized. U.S. Postal Inspector Matt Villacana says avoid using the outside mailboxes. He says your best option is dropping packages or mail items off inside. Especially with it being a federal offense. Also you that. figure it'd be safe, but you're not really safe anymore, I guess. To ensure safety even further, the Postal Service also recommends dropping off at the blue mailboxes before the last pickup time. That way, your mail isn't sitting vulnerable overnight. In West County, Jenna Ray, News 4. This isn't the first instance of people tampering with mail and getting arrested. In June, Roy Jones and Xavier Boyd were arrested after police say they held two St. Louis area postmen at gunpoint and robbed them of their mailbox keys. Both are charged federally with robbery. We are learning.